Hello everyone, my name is Al, and welcome to a brand new series on my channel with some smooth, sweet jazz in the background. We are playing a little puzzle game called Super Liminal. Now, I finished my last puzzle game, um, The Pedestrian, and I felt like jumping straight into another one. So here we are. I have heard a lot of good things about this game. The music is already setting a great tone for me. Let's jump into it and let's explore this game that I've never played before. So you're going to be joining me for every step. Okay, so fair warning, there are flashing lights. Ooh, it's quiet. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest to get blown completely out of proportion? At the <coughs> Pierce Institute, our patent-pending somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnoscope will make your dreams come true. Alright, I feel mildly attacked there, you know? Talking about those things, I feel like, okay, you're fine, you're talking to me. Gee, I get it. Alright, so that's an interesting way to start. That guy has a fantastic voice. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hello! What happened? Alright, so apparently this is something that I know from this game, is it is going to break my mind because nothing makes sense and things happen strangely so the instructions were there I turned around for one second I turned back now there's a door here's a piece of paper the terms of service apparently I've signed it can I go through this door I can yeah and what I know about it is that this game is a puzzle game about perspective perception yeah and perspective okay Grab. What? You're seeing that, right? So it's small, you move it, and it becomes big. What if I move it up here? Smack. It's getting bigger. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, whoa, it's giant. But we can just make it teeny tiny. There you go. All right. This is this is going to this is going to be really Terms fun. Of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome Thank you. to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. All right. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Okay. So this is a box. Okay, so you move the block and it becomes a different size. Interesting. No objects beyond this point at all times. Okay, so this is kind of the resetter. So I can't take this through. Do I need to take it through? Why does it look like I do? Oh, it's so small! Alright, anyway, I don't know if I can take it through, so what now? Do I stand here? Okay, interesting. So there's the next doorway. So yeah, this is reminding me very much like uh, the pedestrian did of, you know, the granddaddy puzzler, um, Portal. So I think that's very cool. Okay, so I can't move through there. But now I can't take blocks through. Right. Whoa. 
I may have lost the block. Okay. But, I, oh, I can. I can do this. Boop. And now, how would I make it bigger? By putting it closer? Where'd it go? Whoa. Oh, there it is. I was about to say, it just disappeared. So if I move further away, it's going to be a bigger block. Ah, oh, that's mind bending. No, it's too big. No, it's not. Okay, I can get through. Alrighty. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Wow, thanks. Alright, can I just quickly point this out? I was ready to run and pick this up, and then as I got closer, Wong. It's just been painted on. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. This is going to be something very strange, isn't it? Okay, what's through there? And through there. Okay. Easy enough. Pick it up one side, put it through the other side. Nice. Hold, right click to rotate. What am I rotating? Do I have to pick it up to rotate? Ah, I have to pick it up to rotate. Um, sure. Put the door all the way up there, because why not? So you see, what I need to do now is if I go close. And now when I drop it, it's a giant piece of cheese. That is so bonkers. You will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Okay. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Thank you. You're really uh, good with the customer support, right? Just like that. So I'm not supposed to go through there. Ooh, are we going into the back room? Dream soda. Warning, you have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Okay. Please return to the orientation pathway. But I don't want it, I want, I want soda. I don't know what I do with soda. Okay. Do I really have to go back? Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Not whatever I was doing. So if I go further away... But I really want to go look that way. No, I want to go find out. What, what is it? I want to go get myself some sodas. I am now very nosy and curious. Green soda? That's the one I got, right? I broke the vending machine! I'm sorry, can I bump it? Bump. I can't. Call I'm sorry. It's giant soda now. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Oops. Alright, let's go back to our elevator music. And here we go. Okay, what are we looking at now? We have. What's this? Hello? Hello? Why are you broken? Anything here? Anything for anything? What do I need to do? 
There's a button down there, right? Now, how on earth would I get it to be there? Oh, no! It's like that. Okay, All this environments is. Environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. No way! I want a gift card. I so badly want a gift card. Please give me a gift card. So. No. No, really, no objects beyond this point at all, but I don't want to. Okay, so you really can't. But I guess I could just do that. Okay, I did not notice that until the last minute. No items, video say it's surveillance. People without items beyond this point will be fined. What? People without items. I don't have any items. People beyond this point with objects will be fined. Suspension of dream license. Fines from one lost night of sleep to four. Alright, well, th thanks. So I'm going to be fined. I'm not going to be fined. Yeah, well, let's go. What's this? Chess pieces. Apples. What am I looking at here? Uh, what? What? This is just where I came from. How how many times does this go? Wee! Time loop. All right. So not that way. The. Exit is this way? Am I trying to escape? I don't know. Okay. Uh, that opens the door there. That opens the door. What's here? Nothing. Um. Did I just take a sign off? Is there anything else I can take off? What if I just made the sign really big? Can I just let it fall over both? How would I make it very big? If I move backwards. Oh, that's it. So, if I move forwards, I pick it up here and I move back. Oh, it becomes giant. Right? Am I doing this right? No, I think I might have gotten that one wrong. So I want to go here. Whoa! Okay, 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 I, I think I'm getting it. So now I've got both doors open. Don't fall over! Uh huh. Right? Okay. I see. Please stand by for Ooh. light recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. Is that it? That's it. first part. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. I feel like with this game, that's, that's trying to tell me I should delay. Like reverse psychology. But apparently I can't delay. There's nothing really I can do. So I guess I won't delay. 
I'm getting serious portal vibes though, but that's cool. There's a gap here. Cheese? That's a brick wall? What's through here? Okay, nothing. Can I do something here? Uh, so what do I do with the giant exit sign now? Um, what? Okay, so how did I say I make something bigger? I move back. And then I move forward. Oh. Alright. Well, we'll just do that. I'm in the back rooms again. Can I push buttons? No. Thank you for letting me come see. What's through here? What are we gonna find? Who knows? Uh -huh. I wonder if I needed that piece of cheese. Okay, the game's saved over there. Alright. If I saw... What? Oh, I'm falling. Look at the loading screen. What is happening? What is this game doing? It's so... Bizarre. Alright, 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 alright. Put off. 3 a.m. Alright. Um, yeah. This is a bit of an, a journey. I think I might not have been uh, saying too much about this one. I, I've been. You know, my brain is being expanded by these things. Uh, I'm kind of like. Just in a constant state of what on earth is going on? Which is pretty cool. That's nice clouds. But yeah. So I think I'm going to pick up straight off the air. We've gone through the uh, orientation where we met the friendliest robot in the history of the world. Um, yeah. I like her very much. But yeah. This was episode one of Superliminal. It's, it looks like it's going to be very exciting. I anticipate just like in... Uh, in uh what was it the pedestrian sorry my brain is super slow i feel like it's it's the day before a long weekend so yeah it happens um pedestrian where things kind of pick up and become harder and harder i expect this to happen yeah but i don't know what else to expect i have no idea so yeah um we'll have to see i guess we'll have to just kind of sit through it and see but anyway i thank you very may very merry very merry very much for sitting through this with me and uh, I'm hoping that your brain is also expanding a little bit and that you're not shouting at your monitor saying, ah, how do you not know what the answer is? So hopefully that's not you. But anyway, I will see you in the next one.